The Institute of Economic Affairs has indicated that over-reliance on monetary policy in addressing the hikes in inflation would yield no positive results. The Institute is entreating government to address the supply side of factors driving inflation. According to Director of Research at the Institute, Dr. John Kwache, more collaboration is needed between government and the Bank of Ghana to address the country's high inflation in the media budget scheduled for next week. He was speaking at a media interface on Ghana's IMF bailout organized by the Economic Governance Platform. And we rely on uh, a monetary policy framework that um, essentially focuses on controlling demand, demand pressures in the economy. But what we have come to realize is that our inflation is also determined, um, um, you know, to a large extent by supply and cost factors. And this, uh, we've been talking about food, uh, we've been a uh, fuel, the importance of fuel in driving our inflation, transportation, and then, then of course the exchange rate. So you cannot uh, use the Bank of Ghana policy rate alone you know, to just manage demand. You have to address the supply factors also. And this is what we have been calling for, you know, uh, for, for a long time. And I, we, we're just asking both Bank of Ghana and government to, you know, cooperate, work together, so, can, so that they can also be addressing the supply and cost factors that uh, drive inflation. Um, we are happy to note that um, when it comes to the demand pressures, um, the, the, the program contains a, a provision for reducing uh, what they call monetary financing of the budget by Bank of Ghana. In fact, government and the Bank of Ghana have signed a memorandum of understanding now uh, for Bank of Ghana not to lend to government at all uh, you know, under the program. So that will help to reduce uh, the demand pressures. But we're saying that they should do something about the supply and cost factors uh, as well.